absolutely no idea that this project even dropped, that she was dropping something. I'm out of the loop. Are we surprised? Absolutely not. We've gone over this before. I was told by my request page that you guys wanted to see this. So I just want to say thank you real quick that you guys have been so good about going there and requesting it instead of leaving it in the comments or on my Twitter or anything. I don't have like that constant feeling that I'm not ever doing enough for you guys. And it's really great to just hear from someone like, oh, they want to see this and this instead of seeing like 700 different things. So I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate it. And if you ever want to request anything, this is the Twitter that you go to. Request it. And if there's a lot of it, then let me know. And just maybe I'll do it. So the project is a bit short today. To Feel Alive EP, it's four songs, literally 10 minutes. But from what I understand, this was made during quarantine. I'm happy to hear that someone can be productive during quarantine. I'm trying my best, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm really starting to feel the struggle. Like two months of just being inside working without any kind of escape or release. Woo! God, I thought my seasonal depression was bad. Quarantine depression has been coming for her neck. And by her, I mean mine. So I am excited to see um, what this is all about. Hopefully it lifts my mood up. I'm not gonna lie, this past weekend, I've just cried. I'm just a sad little girl, so I need something. So the first song, Honey Baby, Spoiled. Honey Baby, why is that like kind of sensual? Honey Baby. I feel like if I ever launched a perfume, I think I would want to call it Honey Baby. Noted, okay. Oh, birds chirping, wouldn't know what that sounds like anymore. I will have to say, I'm... Oh, I'm really into this production. If you guys know, like, this is my sound right now. I wouldn't think to put her with the sound, though. I'm so used to her last project, because I think, honestly, really, that's the only thing I know from her. Sorry? So this is kind of a new side for me to um, hear her in, but I do like it so far. It's interesting. <laughs> oh. I love the way you treat me, love the way you touch me. Love the way you feed me like I got the munchies. I don't, that line's sticking out to me right away. Love it even when I try to act like I don't. Ooh, that's me. Ooh, that's my love language. Flirting with just a little sprinkle of aggression. Mm-hmm, table for one, that's me. Respect my time and damn, you wanna spoil me. Treat me like a queen, he know this. <laughs> Royalty. Okay, so this is an interesting opening about a loving relationship. Wouldn't know what that's like. I think what's like throwing me off a bit in this track is her voice. I like the last part, the you're mine. Like I wish it kind of slid more throughout the song. Ooh, it really would have played into like that little sensual, ooh, that sensual act that she was doing with the lyrics. Game over. Bye. Oh, hell yeah. See like that, like the high, like, Oh, I would have loved that on the other track, too. God damn it. Oh, I love that. Dude, I've noticed a lot of um, artists, I think it's just like the wave. It's the craze. It's what everyone's doing now. This like throwback 80s sound. But I've heard a lot of things that remind me of like arcade games. I've heard a lot of it in a lot of music lately. Not complaining. Absolutely love it. Obviously, like I've gone through trends in music and everything. Maybe since this is my job, I notice it more like how music shifts into the next one. But then I also think the whole like house big drop in the chorus like trend in music just went on way too long so like i kind of forgot how other music could sound or like what it's like to see a new trend you know what i mean god damn how did we survive that for so many years oh, oh it's already over god damn it i forgot they're short oh my god miss kelly girl Give me an instrumental of just that. God damn. That was a whole ass journey. Ooh, y'all know I love a good instrumental, but that just was like next level. That was top tier. See, like we're already halfway done. Like, I feel like we've done nothing. We've talked about nothing. Why would you guys want this? <laughs> like when you give me a good artist that I can't really critique on and I just sit here and bob, like what do you want me to do? What do you expect me to say? Except to have a good ass time, sit here and say, I love it. Okay, next one is, I want war, but I need peace. 
Do I feel that on a spiritual level? I want war, but I need peace. Like, I want war. Let's take down the government. Let's take down the man. Fuck the patriarchy. Eat the rich. But right now with like the protests and everything, like, oh, don't even get me started. Like I saw this video today on my Twitter timeline. <laughs> mad. There have been so many issues in the world and this is what you choose to protest? This is what like you decide to take a stand on? Really? Really? I get there's so much that goes with it. Trust me I'm not blind to it. I get both sides but like really? Really? No. Okay. No one asked for that. Let's continue. <laughs> there's harmonies. Are you kidding me? Bye. <laughs> Ooh, this one's different. Okay, so I want to point something out just real quick because, I mean, granted, it's a short project. We're on track three of four. But when I talk in albums about being cohesive but still like having different sounds and elements in your music, this is a like prime example of what I'm talking about because each track has sounded so different and this one has more of a like jazzy feel with the piano and everything in the back but it still is in the same like sound wheel as the whole project like I should be able to shuffle an album still get the whole sound but have an experience with every song like it doesn't necessarily have to be in the same order every time I listen to it to get the full effect oh One. This one might be my favorite one so far. Ooh, that like harmony. Ooh, 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 ooh. What the fuck were the lyrics? I, I literally was not listening. I was, but I wasn't. Time to be precious and my patience then, girl's aim. My mind and my soul is the weapon and every fellow was a lesson. Ooh, it's time to stop blocking these blessings. See, I just want to grow into my greatness. So maybe that's how God made me. Take a look at... <laughs> okay, Apple Music, take a look at Watch You Made Me. Okay. So the first two were very, um, very sensual, very like relationship based. And this one I feel like is me when it's 1 a.m. and I'm like thinking about my entire life because I've been stuck in the house for 40 some days and I got nothing else to do. Maybe it's been more than 40 days. I have no concept of time. You could tell me something happened this year that happened in 2012 and I would believe you. 100%. This year has been shitty. Fuck this year. 2020 was supposed to be the girl. She, we all agreed. I have so many messages, so many conversations I remember from this year being like, 2020, look out. Yeah, look out. Run and hide. But no, I feel like this is definitely more of a reflective piece, more of a longing for somebody or for a type of relationship. Definitely some lyrics in here that I was like, oh. I don't know, this one I really like. This one I really vibed with. This little fade out? Music. Period. To feel alive, that's all I want. Yeah, I just wanna feel something, girl. Me too. Ooh, with the play on with the doo doo doo. Ooh, the, ooh, the play off with the production and the backing vocals makes me think of it being like. Like there's still a secret, there's still something that we don't know even though she's telling us everything she's feeling in the lyrics, you know what I mean? There's still like a darker side to it. Ooh. Ooh. Music. <laughs> Wait, okay, let me keep listening, hold on. feeling something right now. I did not ask to feel. Girl, like I already had a mental breakdown before I started filming. Girl, same. Literally same. I think we can all agree. Like, obviously we're all over this. We're all wanting to live our life like normal. We're a very dependent species. Even me, like my independent ass who likes to stay home and like have my couple outings, you know, throughout the week and then be done, is like craving excitement, craving 
people, which I never do. Like I understand why the Roaring Twenties was the Roaring Twenties because after the 1918 Spanish flu, they're like, God damn, we're never doing that again. We're gonna live our best life. Granted, they then went and, you know, crashed the economy. However, in the meantime, they had a ball and that's what I wanna do. Let them crucify me. Oh, how can I give a damn when I don't give a fuck? So this looks like that a relationship was soiled based on um, public opinion. Maybe not public opinion, but the thoughts and what other people are saying on the outside. Again, I think during this time, it's just a very reflective piece. And I feel like this EP kind of shows that. Even as a creative, like, I know I've been sitting here thinking about shit that I didn't want to think about and I'm still thinking about. And I'm like, let's stop that. I just want to feel alive. I just want to feel good. Is that too much to ask? The I miss my family. Things will never be the same to all the people that we've lost. I'm screaming, rest in peace. I just want to feel, yeah. Okay. Woo, all right. <laughs> Cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go before I have a mental breakdown. But if you wanted to know my ranking of the EP, all four songs, <laughs> this is what we're looking at right at the moment. What is your ranking? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, go check out my other channels for different type of content for me besides reaction. Merch, social media links down below. I love you. Please take care of yourself mentally, physically, everything, all the above. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one.